Hi, I'm Leanne with Leanne and Michelle, and it's time for volume two of our Enneagram collection. Today, we're going to be taking a look at everybody's favorite feeler, the Enneagram Four. We're gonna follow the four through some of the more important calendar days of the year, starting with Valentine's Day and going all the way through to some truly epically bad gifts in December. It's gonna be so special. And I can say that because I am a four. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to hear why I made some of the choices that I did for the Enneagram 4. And if you're new here, please subscribe. We would love to have you stay for some more funny Enneagram content. Thanks for watching. I mean, I guess I would want to start the day just by spending some time enveloped in meditative silence, looking into one another's eyes, saying everything without saying anything. And then after we enjoy a cup of herbal tea, I'd like to go outside and recite poetry to one another as we gather wildflowers together. It will be the end of winter, but the beginning of spring, the perfect time for butter burr, maybe some primrose, greater stitchwort. And then we'll take those flowers and press them together in the pages of a book so that we kill them but on purpose, thus immortalizing them. Okay, just keep it simple. All I want is a tempered glass water bottle with a pink silicone sleeve with a delicate floral print. It doesn't keep the water cold, but it really matches my fitness gear color story. And we'll close our eyes and listen to the bird calls and choose the ones that most clearly mimic our heart songs. I'm a total whippoorwill. And in the evenings, we'll sit around the fireplace and read Shakespeare aloud to each other. The heat will be stifling, but it really adds to the ambiance. Goodness, are the schools opening late? I hadn't heard anything about it. I really try very hard to stay off the news feeds. Also, I was already homeschooling before everybody else started doing it. So I'm still really unique. I just adore homeschooling. I am intoxicated by my children's curiosity and creativity and by the complete and total lack of structure. Structure just makes me super duper itchy. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I just need a little Thebes spray. Did I mention I sell for Young Living Oils? I start every school day in the same way. First, I rub just a drop of anointing essential oil on each of the children's heads, and we set an intention for the day. Then we all drink a thimble full of kombucha, and when we're done with that, we stand outside and we feel the wind in our faces for about 45 minutes, and we describe how it makes us feel. I've always created my own curriculum from scratch. I just find these box curriculums with their math and geography to be just so confining. I mean, where's the theater? Where's the molding clay? If you cannot produce molding clay, then we have nothing to say to each other, sir. Instead of a traditional place setting, which has just been done to death, I like to put a plant that represents the spirit of each guest in front of their plate. This one is going in front of grandma's seat. It's an eternity plant because she's been alive like forever. This prickly sort of decaying succulent plant is my cousin Evan. Oh, well, I know it's not a toy, but just imagine all the hours they'll spend watching the light being refracted through these prisms. And I don't want to sound ungrateful, but my mother-in-law, who I adore, gave me a pack of Costco women's underwear in the wrong size, in the color gray. And I mean, emotionally, I'm fine now, but it felt like being slapped in the face. It's like she doesn't even know me. It's Costco underpants. It's Costco. My husband um, got me a pooper scooper for our dog. He said that way I wouldn't have to bend over. Sorry, it's just waves of emotion. Bend over. He said that I wouldn't have to bend over to pick up the poop with a shovel. Mm, there, I got it out. So he got me a pooper scooper so I could pick up the dog poop without hurting my back. It was so nice of him. It was so... It was so... 
practical. A practical present. Talk about four, baby. Let's talk about crazy me. I love my fourness now that I know I'm a four. As soon as I understood that like, there are others like you out there. I was like, oh, that makes life so much easier. For me reading the, the four, oh, there's a bird. Legitimately, I know I do this in all my videos. There is a magnificent wren hopping along the garden. <laughs> there really was. I wish you could put the camera around in a black bag and a brown chest. It was really beautiful. <laughs> my character gets distracted by birds in almost every video. There's a reason for that. So my four is, I do, I would say I have a high need in my life for um, beauty and order. Whatever that means to you individually, that's like a thing that four shares. It has to be beautiful to them. My characterization of the four is very particular about her environment. <laughs> the idea of beauty over function is an ongoing in my house because I just want it to be just be beautiful. She is very self-involved as a lot of fours tend to be before they start working on themselves. She's just very into what she's experiencing and making sure she's saying it in the perfect way. Highly values her uniqueness, definitely wants people to see it. And the interesting thing about the four is I think initially it was the hardest character to play because the things that she does, that very indulgent way of explaining everything, and uh, I, those are things I try not to do as much. <laughs> her like her long-winded way of explaining everything, which I realize I'm totally doing right now. I'm doing it. I'm being her. So the four is me stretched out in some new comical directions, but I am my own inspiration for the four.